No, you do not use your feet. The amount of people that I've seen say this is incredible. I'm starting to think you guys are actually being serious. And I'm just sitting here with 12 fingers or whatever. So how would you play 12 lanes with 10 fingers? Well, in 10K2S, the outer lanes are treated as scratches or special keys. This means that maps deal with this column differently, and they're often designed around this aspect. I'll go more into that later. For the layout, you would use your standard 10k setup for the main keys, and scratches tend to be the pinky above. This is what my layout looks like. Some people choose to play with thumb binds, which can look like this. When I tried 10k2s for the first time, I had my special key set to index. My thinking was that it would help me transition better into 18k. But honestly, these two modes play out entirely different, and 10k2s uses more of your 10k muscle memory, so having the special key set to pinky really helped for me. Anyway, all of this creates a problem. Take a look at this pattern right here. The mapper created this map with the intention of the thumbs on the special keys. This completely changes the playability of such pattern, as the motions would be different depending on how your binds are set. We can see another instance of this problem in this map from another user. In this case, the special keys were intended to be the pinky, so any thumb players would have an awkward movement trying to jump between these keys. If 10k2s were to become part of the rank section, then problems like this would have to be addressed. One solution would be to leave the special key up to the discretion of the mapper, and players could either choose to play with the intended style or not. Another solution would be to pick a standardized special key that all maps must follow. So for instance, patterns like this would be allowed, whereas these wouldn't, assuming the pinky is picked for the special key. This is also an important point as to how we deal with map mods of this key count. The other day I posted my work in progress map in the discord server and they were saying stuff about controller and backspin scratch and all that and that really got me thinking. Since 10k2s is like double play for bms kind of thing or whatever, what if we model maps like that? What I mean is, what if we really took inspiration from these types of maps but really focused on keyboard playability? Hugs map is a good example of what I mean. Here you have your usual 10k mapping that we've seen a lot in this game, but then the structure develops to where you have your two hands playing their own parts of the pattern, working together. This is further highlighted in the scratch section. It really gives this map a sense of motion and fluidity that's very unique to 10k2s. Going back to the controller stuff, there are some things that's more comfortable on controller than keyboard, and vice versa, so I think for the sake of this we should really focus on playability on keyboard. This pattern pops up a lot in a 10k2s convert, and it's probably comfortable for controller play. Anyway, that's enough talk about patterns, let's see some maps we can actually play now. Yeah, there's not a lot going on here. In fact, if we back up and look at 18k maps, there's just so much more. Albeit, most of these are just hit sound diffs. It seems like this user uploaded some converts though, and that's quite a lot. Should be enough to get a feel of what this key mode is like. Uh, just a quick side note. So I played through majority of these difficulties and yeah, they're freaking unplayable? Apparently they didn't convert properly maybe? But if you really think about it, some of these patterns might actually be valid for controller play. So whether this is correct or not, that's like a bulk of the maps that you're probably going to have a hard time playing. So yeah, we're back down to 6 map sets. I bet in the near future, this page could be 5 times longer as more and more players make maps. I think that's the main limiting factor to what's keeping people from trying this mode. And there was previous talk about 10k2s joining the rank section? Like you really gotta have a decent amount of players making a decent amount of maps that people can set scores on for that to really make any sense doing. Otherwise, leaderboards will end up looking like this. If you're wondering about converting low key counts into 12k, uh, as far as I can tell, there is no method of adding special keys into maps or something like that. Doing the standard auto map from 4 to 12 does at the very least feel playable, but it's nowhere near true 10k2s mapping. I still think it's a good way to practice moving between the keys though. Anything more than 6k and the patterns begin to include staircases, which doesn't account for the special keys. So in general, you should avoid converting from these, unless you're just insanely good already. Someone had the idea of converting some 14k2s maps into 10k2s, as Soundsphere usually does a good job of maintaining the general structure of a map. That could work, but I've yet to try it. I don't even own any 8k dp maps. That seems like all the main points I wanted to say in this video. One final thing I'll touch on is improvement. A lot of 10k2s depends on your prior 10k experience, as well as making sure your keybinds are comfortable. I've only been playing for about a week or two, and you can see how much my score has increased by just adjusting my keybinds, skins, and playing a bit over the past few days. Even if you don't want to spend like 2 hours at a time on something really uncomfortable for you, just 10-20 to 20 minutes throughout the week goes a long way. So try it out and maybe you'll enjoy yourself.